<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Fivey Castle Gardens. My name is Gordon Thompson. Uh, I'm a head gardener here. been head gardener for coming on 13 years. Uh, welcome to the Wall Garden Scottish Fruit. Uh, the garden was designed by Robert Grant back in the mid 90s, mid to late 90s. Robert was our regional garden advisor at the time. The, up until that time that was trust bought Fivey Castle in the mid 1980s. Between the mid 1980s and mid 90s, various parts of the gardens were developed. The American Garden and the Hawk Woodland Garden. The Piss Garden was all laid out to grass, which is a crying shame, over two acres. So Fivey Castle had a long tradition of growing fruit in the past. So Robert decided to create the theme around fruit, um, specifically Scottish fruit. At the time, not many people were growing these historic Scottish varieties. So a great thing for, for us to do, for the trust to do, safeguarding these, these varieties. So over 40 varieties of apple, as well as pear, plum, lots of soft fruits, raspberries, black currants. Um, many of the black currants donated by the James Hutton Institute, down in Dundee, which we're very grateful for. As well as hybrid berries, blackberries and so on. Huge amount of seasonal vegetables as well and lots and lots of colour, dahlias, cosmos, lots of other annuals as well. Not quite such a fine day today, a bit cloudy, but never mind. Uh, I'm going to hand you over to our full-time gardener Stuart Stockley in a minute, who's going to take you around the garden. I'd just like to say a huge thank you to our volunteers. Sadly, we don't have our volunteers at the moment, because for obvious reasons. Um, they're a huge support to us, as well as in every other garden in the Trust. Uh, and we really appreciate them. We hope to have them back as soon as we can. And um, just like to thank all our members and visitors as well. Um, obviously, you're dying to get back to the gardens and the grounds, and we fully appreciate that. And we thank you for your patience. Uh, so I'm going to hand you over to Stuart now, who's going to take in a virtual tour of our gardens. Okay, so hi everyone. I'm Stuart Stockley, uh, the gardener here at Fivey Castle. Um, you've just had an introduction from Gordon Thompson, our head gardener. I'm going to take you around the garden now just to show you uh, some of the stuff that we've been doing. Um, you can find more videos um, about the garden and things we've been doing on the Fivey Castle Facebook page or you can follow gardener.stew on Instagram for more gardening content. Um, right, so let's go see the garden then, shall we? Okay, so I'll start the little tour um, from at the top of the garden. This is our nursery area, our work area. Um, I mean the public can come up here if they like to have a look but it's more just a sort of a working area so yeah it's one of our greenhouses here and our cold frames um, that I put in in the winter they're not finished yet they need tops as you can see uh, but at the moment I'm just using a bit of uh, corrugated plastic uh, for the cold frames this year until I can get around to doing the tops for them so let's get around here into the, the main part of the garden so the first bed we come to here is a rhubarb bed which as you can see does very well this rhubarb must be well, it's damn near the height of me so it's it's certainly over five feet tall with the uh, the flower heads on it um, so yeah plenty of rhubarb um, these are our strawberry cages here and our of a greenhouse and more rhubarb now some of you may have seen some of my other videos I've done this year um, and one of the videos I uh, was doing was about our carrot and onion bed so this is it here uh, with the onions and carrots now in place um, at the moment I've got bits of uh, steel on the bed and bits of timber just to stop the mat blowing about since I put uh, put the drills in the wind can get underneath it now um, you'll also see coming up through the middle of the carrots here uh, some potatoes well this is where it was our potato bed last year and try as we will um, we can't get every single potato out of the bed so every now and then through the drills we're getting these these rogue tatties come up which is a, is a real pest but um, we just paint a bit of weed killer, just got a paintbrush and just, just dab the, the potatoes uh, with some weed killer 
um, and that seems to, to work a treat with them. So that's a, a carrot and a onion bed there. Um, this is a, an ornamental apple bed uh, which we're going to take out next year and uh, do something a little bit more special in here we think. At the moment we've got some ballerina apples and uh, we've got uh, a little espalier in the middle there and uh, some tabletop uh, apple trees. This is our hybrid currant bed, uh, our hybrid berries. So that's what's in here. Uh, this bed, uh, you have to excuse the weeds, first of all, I should have said that at the beginning. We have got many, many weeds in the garden this year, far more than we would normally, and that's purely because um, our seasonal gardener uh, is uh, furloughed and or our volunteers just can't come in at the moment. So, uh, as Gordon was saying at the beginning, it's just the two of us, so there's, uh, there's, there's more weeds than we would like to see. Uh, but basically what's going to be going in this bed, where the sticks are, uh, we've got bishop dahlias planted there, so they'll come up for a splash of colour. Um, and over the A-frame wigwam, we're going to plant runner beans, so that will just be like a tunnel of runner beans. The, the beans should hang in the centre. And then the foliage will be on the outside of the frame so you can just sort of go go through the tunnel and just harvest the runner beans nice and easily that way so that's what's going on there um if I go back down here uh, it's just this morning i've started laying out a string line for me to put in uh, the brassicas so this will be the brassica bed here with this black frame and the netting's just here which goes over the top of it to keep out the cabbage white butterflies so uh, by the end of the day, this will be planted up with uh, brassicas. Um, coming over here, this is our herb parterre. Um, there's really not much in the way of colour at the moment. We'll, we'll do another video in about a month's time. Um, but because it's a kitchen garden, so much of what we put in is annual. Um, and it's just not, not at its peak yet. Um, but anyway, the herb parterre is here. Uh, we've got a statue underneath underneath this cloth here of Gaia, the goddess of woods. Um, so she's under there at the moment, so we need to take that off as well and uh, let her out for the summer. Take you over to the herbaceous border now and I'll show you some of the stuff. This just got planted up last year. Um, we took the, we, we emptied the whole border and, and, and planted up probably about two thirds of it. You can see there's a gap at the end of the border there that's still to be planted up. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to put herbaceous stuff in there this year. Um, there's just just not the money with COVID. Um, yeah, our budgets have, have been drastically reduced, as you can imagine. So we'll just put in some some gourds or something like that there, and some maybe some more wigwams or something with runner beans. Um, but uh, considering this was just planted up last year. It's, it's looking pretty good. I mean, the looping look fantastic, um, as does the uh, the Centauria at the back there. Um, again, it's done, done really well. Um, and the Delphinium. Delphinium normally take a couple of years to establish, but uh, there's certainly lots of flowers uh, to come up here. Um, so like I say, in, in a couple of weeks, I think it'll, it'll look spectacular. But the herbaceous border runs the full length of the garden, so it's a pretty big border. Um, and it certainly will be once we get both ends you know, completed and planted up. But there's a, there's a gap at this end as well that again we'll, we'll plant up with some, you know, well, whatever, salad or, or some gourds or, you know, who knows. We'll, uh, we'll see what we've got left when we've planted up all the beds. <laughs> So it's mainly uh, Scottish fruits that we have in here and Scottish vegetables. We hold uh, the largest collection of uh, Scottish fruits and vegetables. Um, so it's all Scottish apples, pears, uh, currants, so got red currants, pink currants, white currants, black currants, raspberries, hybrid berries. Um, <clears throat> you know, got all, all the all the Scottish soft fruits um, and apples and pears. So.
So uh, this bed here is a potato bed. So we're just growing our potatoes under straw this year. Um, I have done another video uh, that you'll find on the Fiby Facebook page. Um, and it talks more about the, the potato bed if you, if you want to find out more about that. Uh, this is another ornamental apple bed. We're uh, putting dahlias on the sticks in the middle, so there's a bit of splash of colour. Uh, they're in the ground, but as you can see, they're they're not up yet. <laughs> um, and on this trellis we've made here with bamboo canes, we're doing a Belgian fence style of growing with the apples. So it'll take on this sort of diamond formation here. Um, so again, you know, that'll look spectacular in about three years time it should be up to the top top of the frame so that'll look quite something um, and just beyond that is our raspberry bed again everything's very green at the moment it's just a bit early in the season for us uh, plenty of flowers flower buds on it but no raspberries just yet this uh, just got planted up this year as well this is our gooseberry bed and we're going to do cordons. Um, so they're just going to be straight up cordons uh, on these black sticks here. And in a year or two, we'll get some galvanized uh, steel frames for them, much like you can see on all the other beds, um, just like these frames here. And we'll have, uh, yeah, gooseberry cordons growing up them. Uh, this bed here at the moment, we've just got some shallots in, uh, but we'll put some salad in there as well. On the back lawn here, it's just like our orchard lawn. Um, it's all Scottish apple trees, just on the back lawn there. And as we come round to the last veg bed, this is going to be uh, the pea bed. So um, I'm still to put netting on a few of these frames here, um, but I've got the, the, first, the first net on the first frame. So that's our first succession of peas that have been sown in there. So I just need to get the frames on the rest and get some more peas sown. Uh, so there's still lots, lots for us to do in the gardens here. We need to get all the runner beans in and we need to get all the brassicas in. And I've still got peas to sow and we've got some annual bedding to sow as well for a bit of colour around the edge of the veg beds. So um, yeah, that's it really guys. That's the the kitchen garden at 5e castle.